Hello everyone and welcome. This topic will be about updating power boxes. The procedure of updating power boxes goes for all power boxes such as Titan power box, the power box 2 times 86 watt which is for the pixel brick and also the data link. First things first, connect power to the power box. Now important here is before we connect our ethernet cable which is connected to a LAN we need to have the power box set into mode artnet dhcp to do so we can navigate by just clicking the little button here until it becomes blue now it's in artnet dhcp mode once that's done we can actually connect our ethernet cable make sure it's connected to a lan with internet access next step here is to hold down the little button for approximately five seconds until it starts to blink green and blue when it does that, it means that it has found an update. Static green and then it will keep linking between green and blue, which means that it's installing the update. Once the diode gets static blue, the update has been done. The way to check if an update has been successful is by powering off the power box and then power it back on. The specific firmware is indicated by two flashes and the colors of these flashes changes with the firmware. So the way to check which colors the flashes will be is to go to astera-led.com. Once you are at our web page, go to the specific power box, go to the release notes and go to change locks. In here you can see the different firmwares which have been made. In the change logs you can see the previous firmwares but also the current one. Here you can also see what color the flashes should be to indicate what kind of firmware you have on your power box. Now once you looked up to make sure what indicates the new firmware, then we can of course go to the power box, take out the power here and connect it once here and then it will flash green and red. So that's the first way of updating the power box. Simply just connect it directly to the internet, plug it into the power box, and then we can update and transfer the firmware to the power box like that. The second way is with my laptop via our web interface. So in case you don't have access to a router or something like that, you can connect directly to have internet access. Maybe you have access to Wi-Fi or maybe using a hotspot from your mobile phone then we can use our laptop to update the power box as well. Now to update power boxes with the web interface, we must have the version 1.17 or newer versions. Updating the power boxes via the web interface works exactly the same as for this box and also all other power boxes. First thing we got to do is of course power on here our power box and then we connect the ethernet cable to it here as well. Afterwards make sure to have the ethernet cable connected to your laptop which either is connected with Wi-Fi or maybe you have made a hotspot from your mobile phone then this is also doable. Now once you have the power box powered on, connected with ethernet cable and also the ethernet cable connected to your laptop, go to network settings and now I'm on a window so here I just press the change adapter options to have this window open. If you're working on a Mac the settings might be different but the procedure is exactly the same. Now once we have this window open and the ethernet 2 here which is my power box, I simply right click on it, go down to properties. What we want to do now is go to the internet protocol version 4 IPv4. Now to get access to our web interface in this window we must enable use the following IP address which we are gonna set right now. What you see here on the power box it might be a little bit small there are two IP addresses a 2 dot and also a 10 dot. Doesn't really matter which one of them you use Depending whether you choose to use the 2 dot or the 10 dot, you also need to change this setting right here. Pressing the button one time, we are using the 2 dot. It has to be the purple color. Now in my case, we are going to use the 2 dot and just follow the exact same instructions what I'm typing in right here. Then you will also be able to get access to your power box. And this doesn't really depend on what IP address you have on your power box. So now in the first field we write 2, the second one 0, third one 0 and the fourth one a uh, 1. Once this is set, press the OK button and then press OK again. 
what we want to do now is open our browser and since we use the two dot we are gonna type in what is standing here two dot hundred and thirty seven dot hundred and seventy four dot one oh four hit the enter button and now we have access to the power box all power boxes have a unique IP so in my case I type this in you of course write in the browser what is standing on your power box what we are going to do next is press update firmware and then we come to a place where we can choose the file. The next thing to do is to find the firmware and download it so we can upload it here in our web interface. Probably the easiest way is to follow the link which is here on the right side. Otherwise you can go to our website, find the power box, go to downloads and download current firmware. Once we have it downloaded, we can go back to our web interface, then we can say choose file right there, go to our downloads, Titan firmware, press it, and then we can say upload firmware. Doesn't take too long, just have a bit patience, and now we are actually done. Now the firmware has been installed. When we go back to the overview over the power box, you will also be able to see the actual firmware, which currently is 1.17. So this is the two ways of updating your power boxes, also with the needed information to be able to double check if it is the right firmware and if it has been successful. Thank you for watching.